Assalamu alaikum brother I am Dr. Kamar Ara and my question is Christians explain the concept of Trinity as well as that God can take human form by giving the example that water can be present in three states as solid like ice, liquid as water and gas as vapor yet it is one and the same water Similarly, a person can also be a father, a brother, a businessman at the same time, but yet he is the one and the same person. So why not the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit? The sister has a question. Regarding Trinity, the Christians have the concept of Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. The previous question was, I proved it. That from the Bible, Jesus, peace be upon him, never believed in Trinity. Now she gave an example. She is giving a human logic, asking a question that if water can be present in three states as solid, liquid, and gas, as ice, water, and vapor, when water can be in three states, why can't God be? Similarly, the Christian missionary posed the question even God Almighty can be present in three forms Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Now, if you analyze, I do agree matter can be in three states, solid, liquid, and gas. But you should realize that if water is present in three states, solid, liquid, gas, as ice, water, and vapor, in all the three states, the constituent, the component of water is the same, H2O. Even if it's ice, the constituent and component is H2O. Even when it is water, it is H2O. Even when it is vapor, it is H2O. Even when it's ice, even when it is gas or liquid, it is H2O. That's very important. Now let's analyze the example they gave of Trinity. Father, Son and Holy Ghost. In three forms, if you say, for sake of argument, I agree. But are the constituent of all these three things, Father, Son, that is Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, and Holy Ghost the same? We know very well that human beings have got flesh and bone. A spirit and God Almighty has got no flesh and bone. Human beings require to eat. God Almighty does not require to eat. And the same message Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, gave. It's mentioned in the Gospel of Luke, chapter number 24, verse number 39 to 43, that behold my hands and feet. It's I myself, handle me and see that a spirit has got no flesh and bone as you see me have. And he gave his hands and feet and they were overjoyed to prove what that he was not a spirit he was not God Almighty and the verse continues do you have meat to eat and the next verse says that he ate broiled fish and honeycomb to prove what that he was God to prove that he was not God Jesus Christ peace be upon him said a spirit has no flesh and bone as I have proving that he was not a spirit he was not Almighty God Regarding the second example, just to give the example, that a person can be a father, a brother, and a businessman at the same time. So why can't God be father, son, and Holy Ghost? It's a very good example. And I do agree that one person can be a father, can be a brother, and can be a businessman at the same time. Many people out here also may be father, brother, and businessman at the same time. But if suppose, The sister of that man tells a secret to the brother. But natural, even the father and businessman will know that secret because one and the same person. If a sister tells a secret to the brother, who is a father and a businessman at the same time, when the secret is told to the brother, even the father part of that man and businessman part of that man will know that secret. But when you read in the Bible, in the Gospel of Mark, chapter number 13, verse number 32, it says, Of that day, of that hour, Knoweth no man, no, not even the angels in the heaven, nor the son of man, but the father. The knowledge of the hour of that day, no one knows Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, except the father, not even the angels, not even himself. If father, that's God Almighty, and Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, were one and the same, then if knowledge of hour is known to God Almighty, even Jesus should know about it, peace be upon him. So this proves that they were not one. Further, 
Further, if the brother dies, even the man and the businessman will die. If the brother dies, even man and businessman will die. So when Jesus Christ peace be upon him, according to the Bible, according to the Christian, he died on the cross. Do you mean to say even God Almighty and the Holy Ghost died? 